it's going down. Shalom, first and foremost, giving all praises, honor, glory, respect, and blessings to Yahweh, Bashom, Yahweh Shai, Basham Racha Kwadash. Salutations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth in sincerity while patiently waiting for Yahweh Shai's return. And as always, I would like to give double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashom Yahweh Shai. And welcome to another series of It's Going Down, being brought to you by the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashom Yahweh Shai. Russia wants to decouple national currency trade from dollar, RBK. So it says the exchange rate for transactions with friendly countries is still calculated through the greenback. Which that's not a real greenback. Because real uh, a greenback is a non-interest bearing currency. Meaning whenever you receive a loan from a bank or, or something of that sort you don't have you do not have to pay back with interest now a interest bearing currency is when you receive a loan or, or you might receive money from a bank or whatever and you have to pay back with interest and the longer it takes for you to fully pay back that well, whatever you owe the, the the more interest they add to it so this is not a this dollar is, is not greenbacked. Moscow is looking for ways to unpeg settlements with foreign partners from the US dollars. So they're looking to unpeg sell settlements with current with foreign partners from the US dollar, which I know China is in on that that idea too. RBK reported on Saturday citing sources in the financial market and the government Russia has stepped up efforts to switch international settlements to national currencies after a number of Western nations replaced sanctions on the country earlier this year in connection with the conflict in Ukraine as sanctions jeopardized Russia's transactions in euros and the dollar these currencies have been deemed compromised however the exchange rate used in cross-border trade in local currencies is still calculated through the dollar, for example, when determining the ruble uh, tenji rate, the rate of the Kazakh currency is calculated through the dollar to determine the ruble price of a tenge and uh, of a tenge and vice versa. RBK sources say that Russia's central bank and finance ministry are now working together with banks on a mechanism that would allow Russia to set prices for foreign contracts using new indicators that don't take into account the dollar exchange rate. One way is to create a basket of currencies that would presumably be pegged to one another. Another option is to introduce a new payment unit for foreign trade contracts, the value of which would be pegged to commodities such as gold and other precious metals. In that case, the exchange rate world depend on average prices of these commodities in global markets a third option on the table is simply to peg the national currencies to gold or oil however this may be problematic because both oil and gold are priced in dollars it says one source told RBK that the exchange rate in foreign trade con contracts could be calculated using the Chinese yuan instead of the dollar. As China has not sided with the West in the sanctions war against Russia, however, the yuan is not a freely convertible currency and Beijing consent uh, would be required for a mechanism to be implemented. So all these countries are trying to get away from the U.S. dollar. Okay.
But uh, Lord's will, you know, I was able to keep you brothers informed through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. With that, I'm going to say, Shalom is on to the next one.